Okay, so I got this graphics card. It's a Radeon HD 4890. I got it from a friend, and I don't think he ever cleaned his stuff, but he gave me a couple of GPUs out of the kindness of his heart. And now I'm going to build a rig for my fiance, and this is the card I'm going to do that with. Now, uh, this video is going to be to show you how to clean a used graphics card or a user refurbish it. That way uh, you can use it or do whatever. Um, this one, all we had to do is on the sides, you have these little fasteners. They're kind of like hex head. And these hold your case panel onto the interface it's right here where the slots are. So you can use a pair of pliers or a wrench to remove those and you pull that off. After you do that, when you flip it over on the bottom, there will be one of these hold down plates. It goes like right here. And you undo those. I generally undo them in a crisscross pattern. That way it doesn't put stress on the board. And undo all of the screws all the way on the bottom of the board which will undo the heat sink. After that, it'll take a little bit of strength to pop it up, but when you do, which I recommend when you pull it to kind of hold it like this, and then pull straight up, and it'll pop off like that. When you do, you can take both pieces, flip them over to kind of evaluate the situation. This one was really, really, really dirty. So, what we're going to do is, I mainly use, of course, alcohol, Q-tips, paper towels. That's my whole nine yards. So that's as far as it goes. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paper towel, and I'm going to put my uh, alcohol on it. I generally use 99% uh, rubbing alcohol, but this is 70 because it's all I could get a hold of. I usually use 99% because there's not like almost no water content at all evaporates like on the spot but I'll just use 70 and I'll leave it out to um, dry for a bit. I'm just going to go over the whole thing, kind of zoom out so you can see this a bit better. So I'm just going to go over the whole thing with paper towel, it's getting pretty dirty already. I'm just kind of go through and wipe all of the dust and dirt and nastiness. See that? That's all coming out of there. We do this with the paper towel first, and then we'll go back over it with the Q-tips to get the cracks and crevices. This is to get most of the junk that's off in there. Let's see, I'm pulling clumps out of those contacts. And generally when it gets about that and you have clumps on it, it's generally good to uh, to go ahead and change your towel out. But it's generally a good idea to do this in a bathroom or somewhere that's easy to clean up. So we're just going to go in like right up here where all that dirt and stuff is and just kind of go through. Okay, so this is looking good. I went in with some dust remover, just what I had laying around. Three in dust remover. And since I don't have my air compressor, <coughs> and I removed the clumps of dirt that were under here, and the clumps of dirt that were under here as well. So, this is really nice. I've gotten this in a really good condition now. It's nice and clean. So now it's time to move on to our heat sink and fan assembly. I'm gonna take, there's these big clumps on this. I'm just gonna go ahead and pinch those out here. Kinda wipe that general area down. 
kind of clear off a bit. That way I don't just waste a paper towel. I mean, look at that. So now we're going to move on to this. We're going to want to take this thing apart. And there'll be screws around the area here, here, here. These three are for the fan. Hold the fan in. And the ones that are around the outsides hold the housing on. So now, now you have your, now you have your heat sink and you have your fan over here and your heat sinks in this piece. We can remove our heat sink just by pulling up on this piece. As you can see, this heat sink is filthy, so it's going to need to be cleaned. Fortunately, I've had this. Um, did not run the piss out of the graphics card because um, they don't. Uh, I don't know if they replenished the heatsink compound or not, but the heatsink compound on this is not that bad. It does need a little bit of added, but it's not cooked through. So we'll add some of that as well okay. later. And you take your guard. This is just plastic, so you could wash this off in water and then dry it really well, or use alcohol on it and you know clean it up with a paper towel. So with this, I think I'm just going to wash this. You can use a towel to, to uh, dry this with. You could also use a low powered hair dryer if you're nervous about moisture. You can also go over it without, with 99% alcohol and it will uh, evaporate the water that's left. Or you can leave it out in the sun or just dry it really thoroughly if you're nervous. I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to dry it and then let it dry out for a while. So here's our guard, fully washed, nice clean, no dust, no dirt, good to go. Next thing is going to be our housing with our fan on it. So with this one it's got the factory um, compound pads on it for or over the chips. So we're not just going to be able to just wash this because I want to keep those. However, I will put new compound over here and here because it is worn through. So I will replenish that as well. Okay, I don't know where my fine screwdriver is. So I'm not going to remove that fan to get to clean it. So I'm going to use Q-tips to get up in small spaces with. With this, I just dumped alcohol through the fan. And I'm just turning it and scrubbing all of the black dirt and dust off of it. And here we have a nice clean fan and plate ready to go. This little piece on the corner came off, so I'm going to need to put some thermal compound there. But nice and clean. Make sure you get both sides on the fan blades. You're good to go there. Next thing is the just the heatsink itself, which with this you can use compressed air. You can use compressed air, you can use canned air, or you can just use water and then a hair dryer. I usually use water and then like a heat gun or hair dryer to dry them myself. when you're done it'll be like shiny you can see through it all that good stuff when you're done your heat sink should look like this nice and clean and dry okay to put this back together what we do is we're gonna take this put this back over and set this back in To take. We're going to take this, that guard, wipe, wipe it off if you need to, check it, make sure it's not wet, it's all good. 
and just lay it on top of. Take your screws, put them in. If you have a carpet floor, it's generally a good idea to put a towel down or something. So if you drop one of these tiny little screws, you can find them easily. That's one reason why I don't like carpet. I prefer plywood floors myself. Or, here's our top plate. And you should hear that. This is the heat sink moving around. And should be nice and clean, spinny. This thing should jiggle around. Nice and clean so it has space to go. Now we're gonna get our heat sink compound. Okay, so now I have this, I would use Arctic Silver 5, but I have this uh, compound, heat sink compound from Radio Shack I have left over. I have like two tubes, full tubes of it. So why not use it? And plus next time it's time to clean this, I'll have some arctic silver around. I want to put a little dot of it right here. Uh, if there's any wear there, I'll have some there. I also want to put a little bit here and here to kind of fill in these broken spots that are on this pad. Kind of fill those in. You can kind of dab them down if you need to. And of course right here where that piece of pad fell off. When it pushes down it will spread them out. You can see what it did there. A little hole there, put some there, here, here. This came off right there. I can probably rub that back up. Yep. Okay. So that's good. One thing you want to know when you take it off is which side the curve goes on. Which in this case, right here and right here, hunches up with these. So the curve is going to go towards this side, which is the back where the power plug is. Just take it, look at the sides so you can see where you're setting it down. Line up where the bracket would go on the back. Line that up and kind of push down a little bit. Not too hard. As you see, it's right on. Just slightly off though. You kind of take the card and slide it over because it's the heat sink. It's through here, so it's holding the heat sink. And you can slide the heat sink over to where you can line the uh, screw holes up on the housing with the card. Then you want to put your card two housing screws in. All right, and then after that, the card is all put back together. Now I need to put the end plate back on. So I'll take this, get back over. Oh, well, don't forget to dust this off too. This is dirty. Forgot about that step. Okay, so this, this has a little screw on the end, on the edge here, it's got a little hole here, and you put it on, kind of wiggle that to where it goes in there, or just kind of plop it on like that, It'll go right in there. Once you have it like this, you can put those little screws back in. I'm going to go back to pliers and tighten these down. And then after that, they're pretty good. Don't forget to hook up your uh, your fan connector. That way your fan will work. And that's how you restore a graphics card. Final product. Make new again.